own boat designs are the result of centuries of trial and error. As a result, these small boats come in all shapes and uses. The small boat livery at Mystic Seaport is the home of several classic rowing boats and the shipwrights who handle their maintenance. <laughs> I'm uh, Walter Ansel. I'm a senior shipwright at the Henry DuPont Preservation Shipyard here at Mystic Seaport Museum. And I'm a second generation shipwright. Been involved in uh, building, sailing, and repairing boats. Basically been on the water my whole life. The Sabino and Charles W. Morgan restorations are two of the projects Ansel has worked on. Uh, going to talk to you a little bit about rowing craft and what I know about them. Main type of rowing craft, you have uh, certainly the, the working watermen use skiffs and dories and pea pods, which are, are small rowing working boats. And then uh, people who are rowing for pleasure, um, they used shells and wherries. They were, they were quite a bit lighter and more yacht-like than the robust uh, working watercraft. We keep in our livery here many of both types of both the uh, working watercraft and the ones that are for pleasure. Well certainly with the, uh, the working craft where you had for instance a pea pod that was designed for uh, hauling lobster pots and, and being fairly seaworthy on the, the coast of Maine. You had to have room for carrying your gear and your lobster bait and your lobsters, barrels. It would have been one man in the pea pod. But, and yet at the same time it had to row fairly easily, push easily through the water. So you had uh, the cargo that you were carrying that the pleasure craft don't. Uh, the pleasure craft, like uh, say a gentleman's Whitehall, would just have uh, room for passengers and, and the rower and that would be it. And that boat could be a lot uh, more delicately built and lighter. And certainly the, uh, the gentleman's type of rowing craft were a lot easier to push through the water than the working rowboats like the Peapods and Dories. I think the, the totally revolutionary thing has been the uh, development of modern materials that have let the builders make incredibly light hulls, uh, carbon fiber and epoxy and fiberglass cloth. So you have the same horsepower of the rower, but you have a much lighter hull, um, so the, the boats move quite a bit faster. Certainly the, the old time Boat builders of pleasure boats pushed it right to the edge. They uh, put as light planking as they could on the boats and, and small frames, but the, uh, really the big change has been the uh, advent of carbon fiber and epoxy hulls for rowing shells, for instance. For more on rowing boats, check out the Soundings October issue. Special thanks to the small boat livery at Mystic Seaport. For other boat news and stories, go to soundingsonline.com or go to our Facebook page.